Hey guys, this Black Snow here and bring you guys another Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay this time. I am going to be sniping again. Again? Yes, again. Ooh, nice crisp shot. As you can see, I just now started working on the SVG. I completed all my one-shot medals. I just need to do those miscellaneous things for it. But that shouldn't be a problem. The problem is the P06. Oh, that sniper. I have a, well, Newtown 24-7 was going on, it grew to me that you gotta pull the trigger and then aim down sights, which made the gun a little better. Still, I don't really like it, but it's nice for getting consistent one-shot, one-kills, like this SVG. Also, I am playing with the friend Awkward Turtle SH, and... For this gameplay, I am also running Spectre Ripper. I always, ever since the beta came out for this game, as soon as I got the Spectre and I got his Ripper ability, that was my favorite ability in the game, and it still by far is. It's one of my favorites. Well, it is my top favorite specialist because it's just so much fun to just hack and slash away with the Ripper. My Second favorite specialist is actually the war machine because I don't know about you guys, but if you've used a war machine, it's actually really, really good at just taking out groups of enemies. If they have flight jacket on, that can be an issue, but if it's a direct shot, they just go kaboom. I, I, I wanted to say it like a uh, battery, but I couldn't. But yeah, they just go boom boom, and it, it's really no problem. Like, you can use it up close, you can use it far away, it's not like the Annihilator where you have to be accurate and it's not like the Scythe where it goes away pretty fast. And the Tempest, it has to charge up, Gravity Spikes, you have to be close. That's why I find the War Machine just pretty, pretty much perfect purifier. You know, you gotta be up close for that pretty much too. So that's why I find the War Machine the best next to the Ripper. I like it is better than the Ripper, but the Ripper, you just get it so often and so fast. That's why it's such an effective specialist. But anyway, as you can see, with this SVG, I got that monochrome. I'm looking real nice out here. I'm out here. I should try out for Optic, to be honest. Put me in Phase Clan, please. Ooh, ooh, come, come here, come, come here, come here. Let, let me, let me talk to you. You see this? This is a ripper. Can you see that? That's your blood. Now, uh, can you please clean that up for me? Thank you, sir. I tried chasing this man down. Watch this. <laughs> the guy must have been weak or something because he fell to his death. I wish I could have got that kill, but it's whatever. And ooh, I, I got a talent while sniping. Somewhat sniping. I have used my ripper and pistol, so I can't be like this is a full-on sniper gameplay, but I say it's pretty nice. I remember when I was playing this game, as soon as I got on a 15 gun streak, I was just thinking to myself, man, if I had a regular gun against these people, could I have gotten my first nuclear? Yes, that's right. I have not dropped a nuclear, but... That is not my goal at the moment. My goal first off is to get Dark Matter, which is still taking a little bit of time. That's be mostly because I like to just stop grinding for Dark Matter and use a regular gun every now and then. Or if my team's losing and like it's the halfway or it's a little beyond halfway, I'm just going to switch to a regular gun, try and get the win for my team. And it does help out sometimes switching to... A regular gun. That's why I always have a backup class. I just don't have straight dark matter classes. If one gun isn't working, I switch to the next one. I don't do that. I, well, I mean, I don't do that for dark matter at least. I'll just have one gun that I focus on, and then if I'm not doing that gun, then I'm just playing for fun or trying to get a nuked out. I have tried to attempt that. Got on a 20 kill streak. Then I died. And then I died six more times. Finished that game 30 and 7. Also, nice shot by that Tempest. 
like I said, Tempest, it's it's an okay ability. It's it's fun to spam and do other stuff, but other than that, it's not my forte. War Machine, that is base. She, she has probably my favorite specialist customization. Also, there was Bay. Bay just killed me, but that's okay. We let that happen. We gotta let Bay happy. She gotta have her boom boom stick, so let her get a few kills with the boom boom stick. Also, right here, I'm just like a lost puppy. I'm over here so confused, so don't know what to do. Trying to get these kills. I killed a guy with the Fury song or something like that. I tried to pick it up, but I can't. And then my teammate comes in, saves me. And right here, I don't see that guy on the ground. But apparently, from what my friend told me, she said that he was there for a while or something like that. Because they just seem to love that camping spot. I don't know why. Excuse me? What? Can Y'all can rewind that and just look at that shot. You're going to tell me, out of all the shots I've hit, that one didn't connect. Even my Ripper Blade connected and that was to the left of the Seraph. But you know, it's whatever. I'm not going to complain because this was still a pretty spectacular gameplay. Just a SVG. Compared to the Locust. I think I would have to choose the SVG over everything else because nothing else really compares to it. If I'm being real with you guys, the SVG it it has the power. You won't get as many hit markers. Like right there, if I was using the locust that would have been a hit marker because he stepped on top of the furniture causing his body to elevate up. Meaning I would have shot him in the stomach and you know you gotta shoot that chest up for the locust, but right, right here. Oh, I'm terrible. I'm just like, oh. Okie doke. Oh, ooh, ooh. What am I doing? Good night, teammate. Come here. You get a knife kill, I get a knife kill. One knife's better. It has lock on mechanisms. Also, I think that they should really add aim assist back to the snipers. That is something that has kind of tarnished my sniping ability kind of not really but it just doesn't feel the same without aim assist on the snipers having that little sticky ability but I mean I got used to it I guess that's why the SVG is so so much more easier that that didn't make any sense why it's so much easier than the locust because I'm just used to snapping onto target now and then the SVG just came in my hands like, ooh, ooh, crisp shots, crispy. I only used this gun in arena mode before this, and I don't even think I had it unlocked. That's why I didn't have any camos for it. I used it for sniping in arena mode. That's probably it. Oh, and I sniped some in a search match against my friends, and I will always pick them off <laughs> first thing because I joined their session and they. They would get mad at me. I thought it was pretty hilarious how I would pick them off at the beginning of every round. It was on Redwood. Anyway, this gameplay is going to be wrapping up pretty soon. I think I end up going about 34 and 7? I don't know. I forgot the score. But we do not reach the 100. It goes all the way down to 1 minute. I was actually a little bit worried that we were actually going to lose this and that shot didn't connect wow okay because the hit marker came from the concussion grenade that's what I'm going to assume anyway uh, I'm just over here thinking are we going to lose this match I, I really don't feel like losing this match and from that right there I, I, so far I've gotten 16 kills with my sniper meaning my other kills were miscellaneous with the pistol and the ripper and I forgot if I get a kill with a picked up weapon. I heard him boost up. Ooh, where's my accuracy? My accuracy. Oh, come on. I, I gotta try and snipe him for final kill. Oh, what? Man. They were right there, Snowy. Come on now. You can't choke like that. Anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy. Oh, 36 and 10. Okay. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this sniping gameplay. 
I'm not the best sniper, but I thought this was a pretty entertaining sniping gameplay, even though I didn't even snipe the whole time. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then, guys, I'll see you there. Alright, bye-bye.